Welcome to Royal Secrets. Controversial podcast with Meghan Markle and Fallon appearance postponed. According to insiders who spoke with Page Six, Meghan Markle will now be preparing for Queen Elizabeth's funeral instead of appearing on Jimmy Fallon's show as planned as part of her most recent PR campaign. The Duchess of Sussex was scheduled to appear on Tuesday, September 20, on NBC's The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, as she and her husband Prince Harry were expected to attend the 77th session of the UN General Assembly in New York City, a source informed Page Six that Meghan was due on Fallon. I have no idea what she was supposed to discuss, but it's clear that the meeting has been cancelled. We've been informed that the following edition of Markle's Archetypes podcast, which was scheduled to stream on Tuesday, will also be delayed. Markle was waiting for Harry at their Windsor residence, Frogmore Cottage, on Friday. After the monarch passed away on Thursday at the age of 96, he was the first royal to depart Balmoral, the Queen's Scottish estate, on Friday morning. According to Page Six, the couple plans to stay in the UK until the monarch's state funeral, which is generally accepted to be scheduled for Monday, September 19. Archie, 3, and Lilibet, 1, are from California, but it is unknown if they will be taken with them. Despite Markle's assertions that the royal family had never desired to grant her children royal titles, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet may now be known as the children as Harry has advanced in the line of succession. In his first speech in front of the public, Harry's father, King Charles III, said on Friday, I want to also convey my support for Harry and Meghan as they continue to construct their lives overseas. Just a few weeks had passed after Markle's shocking interview with The Cut, in which she declared herself content to have left Britain, had she made her planned TV appearance. She responded, I think forgiveness is incredibly essential. I think there are some conflicts inside the royal family. To hold on to anger requires a lot more effort. But forgiving someone requires a lot of work. Given that I have the ability to say anything, I have really made an effort. By a stroke of luck, the Sussexes were in the UK when the Queen passed away. They traveled to Dusseldorf, Germany, on Tuesday to promote the Invictus Games, Harry's beloved competition for wounded veterans. They were in Manchester on Monday for the One Young World Summit, where Markle gave a speech. The Sussexes were in Windsor on Thursday, when word spread that members of the royal family were rushing up to Scotland to be by the Queen's bedside. When Markle was first expected to join Harry, Page Six was informed. Immediately, this was altered to Harry going alone. According to a royal insider, tensions were so high that Meghan was unable to attend, suggesting behind-the-scenes conflict. The royal family announced the Queen's passing at 6.30 p.m. UK time on September 8. Buckingham Palace reported that she passed away peacefully. Details about the Queen's funeral procession across Scotland for potential public viewing, a hearse will transport the Queen's coffin on Sunday from Balmoral Castle in Royal Deeside to the Palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh, Scotland. As it travels through Aberdeenshire, Aberdeen, and Dundee, there will be opportunities for members of the public to see the royal hearse and pay their respects to the late Queen at various municipal events. The cortege will leave Balmoral on the A93 and head to Aberdeen, then proceed past Duthie Park on North Deeside Road, Holborn Street, and Great Southern Road, before continuing on the A92 and A90 to Dundee and Edinburgh. Throughout the day, a number of venues will offer public viewing areas. The Queen's funeral will be held at Westminster Abbey in London on September 19 at 11 a.m., according to Buckingham Palace. The Royal Cordage will depart from Balmoral Castle tomorrow morning and travel along the A93 before arriving at Ballader, Aberdeenshire, for the homage at 10.12 a.m.